Where is Beaver 2? I need something to scream Hold on, into. hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Must scream! Ash must scream! He must scream! <gasps> oh! Welcome to GT Not Live, where today it is a blast from the past. It is a game that we haven't talked about in a long time, probably for good reason. It is time to revisit Hello Neighbor, but uh, not the original Hello Neighbor, Hello Neighbor 2, which apparently the beta just came, right? This is the beta? Tis. Tis the beta. Uh, and as, so the, the beta just came out, and as anyone who is familiar with this franchise knows, the alpha and beta stages of the game tend to be the what times to play it. And then when the full game comes out, you're like, wait, what, what happened to the game? Um, so. <laughs> is that how they sound like? That is. That's wow. how, that's what I sounded like when I first reacted to that. What, what, what happened to the game? <laughs> that's, that was me. That was my reaction. Like, they actually slapped that on the box art for Hello Neighbor 1. They're like, Matt Pat. What? What happened to the game? <laughs> Man, is that what? What accent is that? I didn't. All of them. Really? All of them, all together. You know, we're we're a global community. We're all fusing together into one. That's how we're all gonna sound one day. I'm just ahead of the curve. Really? What? What happened to the game? <laughs> I really want someone to take all three times that you've said that and compare to see how they've changed. It was no, the last time it got a bit too southern. Yeah, yeah. like I, I recognized the last time I got a little bit too into the southern. I got into the southern bale of it all. But <laughs> what happened to the game? So anyway, <laughs> so that was my review of Hello Neighbor One. Uh, we played the alphas, the betas. We had a good time with them, and then it just like went off the rails. So it's time to revisit everyone's favorite box stacking simulator, Hello Neighbor. Um. I don't know, like, I'm curious, right? This was such a fun and iconic series for, like, the YouTube indie game scene back when it came out that I want to give it the benefit of the doubt. I want to really like these games, but, you know, they they come out and you're like, oh, that was strange and didn't make a whole lot of sense and was kind of janky. And I, I think a lot of people have given up on the Hello Neighbor franchise at this point. I'm giving you another shot. You know, you got my goodwill back in the day. I'm, I'm curious. I'm, I'm always curious about what they're doing, right? You know, they have their TV show that they wanted me to react to. They have their, I, I don't, I, I called this out in a, in a previous theory and it, it, not too long ago. <coughs> it was the last FNAF theory. It was like, there's nine books, seven books on Hello Neighbor, I guess. And I'm like, I, I, I ain't reading the, I've already committed to the Fazbear Frights books. I, it's a lot of lore for a series with these games. Um, so, I don't know. Maybe this is the game that convinces me that I need to add a new must-read series onto my list. And it's the Hello Neighbor series covering, you know, the adventures of Mr. Peterson. Um, so, we'll we'll find out, friends. So, what, what does Hello Neighbor 2 have in store? Is it a return to glory? <laughs> glory for the Hello Neighbor franchise? Or is this one going to just, you know, be a hot mess? We're going to find out. I, I believe it's been reworked a bunch, so we'll, we'll see. Uh, so let's pull it up here. Hello, Neighbor 2. Hello, Neighbors. We're excited to bring you this demo of the Hello, Neighbor 2. The, it's like the Ohio State University. Not demo of Hello, Neighbor 2. The Hello, Neighbor 2. Not to be confused with all the other Hello, Neighbor 2s out there. Make it clear, this is the definitive edition. Oh, man, we're starting off with that. I'm concerned if that's what we're starting off with. Uh, which is a completely new experience, tailored to give you a taste of how dangerous an encounter with your creepy neighbor Mr. Peterson can be. It features new content and a lot of new ideas that we at Eerie Guest Studio, so it's a different designer? Because uh, I believe it was um, Tiny Pixel? Tiny Build? Tiny Build. Uh, Eerie Guest Studios are here to share with you, so that's new. Uh, don't worry, there's no spoilers. Mr. Peterson wouldn't allow that. <laughs> this demo was made with a lot of passion and love, and we'd appreciate your feedback. Okay. Here we go. I will give you feedback. No promises. Uh, here here we go, friendos. Oh, tiny build. Okay. So I guess they're working with uh, another one. You're a guest. Cool. And the Unreal Engine. Still 
to this very day. Here we go. So I believe, so there was a Secret Neighbor. And again, like there's so many different neighbor games. Hello Neighbor 2. Didn't we play a demo for this at one point? This was before your time, Ash. So I'm asking you as if you were the one to, the, the per, you are the person currently sitting in the chair. Yes. Didn't we play a demo of this at one point? Yes, I believe that was the alpha. Okay, that was the alpha, which had like the bird headed guy. And then there was, that was a, that was a weird one. We played it a couple times. It was fun, but it, it was weird. It was definitely a departure. So this is apparently rebuilt and brand new. So here we go. Hello Neighbor 2 demo. New game. Let's just start the game. Okay, we're rocking out in our little mystery van. Mystery wagon. Scooby-Doo style. Alright, here we go. Oh, I see my hands. Okay, we're at the... the Wayron Krubes! Rimor? Oh, the Hello Neighbor, like, backwards, weird language that they have. Where everything is like a, a cipher or has been like scrambled up. I like Krubes. Krubes? Yeah, Krubes is good. Uh, what would that be? Because usually you can figure out what it's trying to say. But maybe not now. Because I... Mirror. Oh, yeah. Because it's always scrambled, right? It's always like a basic scramble. So it's something the... Something mirror. Uh... Bron... Scroob? Scoob? Brooks, Wayron, Runway, Ron. Anyway, it's it's the something mirror. So we're a reporting. We're reporting, in some way. E. E. Excellent. Cool. Solved puzzle one. Anything back here? Okay, there will be at some point because there's a ladder and stuff that we'll have to like parkour over. The gnome. E again! Click. You know when E... What? <laughs> oh, E? Like Markiplier E? Yeah, you, no, you know when E... e? Oh, I don't know what E. When E. <laughs> sometimes you just gotta E. Yeah, sometimes E. Sometimes you just feel an E. E! Okay, there we go. We put together the... What's oh, hello. oh, press! Oh, yeah, okay, so it's my press badge. My name is maybe Quinton. Something, Quintev. If I can figure it out, at least. Okay, E with the crow crowbar. Oh, I can just open this up. Here we go. Just smack it. Garbage, garbage, rock, rock, rock. Okay, so I got a lot of rocks. Oh, it's a walk of broken glass, man. You're a maniac! Die hard. Okay, so something's been stolen here in the past. Because the glass has been broken. What else we got? Okay, so I've got rocks. Hello. Got a crowbar. Break it! Okay, use the crowbar. Yes, I, I would agree. I would agree with the usage of a crowbar here. Did I put it down? <laughs> the game's like, here, we're gonna make it very obvious when we give you a new item and like how to pick it up with E, but we're not gonna tell you how to change the item that you're currently holding. Yeah, I know, because we need gears, right? So I have a rock. I, I would not like this rock anymore. All we know is E. All we know is E! The tutorial's only taught me one thing, and that's E! The tutorial only taught me E! No! I, I now know how to bring up the pause menu. I mean, you dropped a rock. I did drop a rock. Q makes everything disappear, apparently. Oh boy, we are off to a great start here, <laughs> Ash. I'm... Tab? Oh, tab. <laughs> I like your little Nintendo <laughs> Switch case. <laughs> Why did I pop open my Nintendo Switch? And I've got the teeniest, teeniest little guy. There we go. So tab. See, that would have been helpful. Like, hey, I've come over here. here here's, here's my initial feedback. Would have been helpful to be like, hey, you're over here now. Do you want to use tab to change over your items? There we go. 
control here. I'm going to pick up all these rocks because clearly they're going to be very important for me at some point. Jump. It didn't... Okay, the space. Alright, here we go. Ladder. Just ram your body into it. It's fine. Okay, here we go. What do we got? Can I stack some boxes to reach a higher space? Nope, just gotta jump. Okay, cool. Alright, gear number two. Flying through this demo. <coughs> Who's me? Bless you, Matt. Thank you. Th no, bless you, Ash. Oh. Bless us all. Me? Thank you. Now we got this guy. Can I can I break the glass? Can I Okay, so so apparently, again, feedback. Your way of teaching me things is a bit inconsistent. On one hand, I go up to a very obvious switch and it says, E! On the other hand, I go up to a thing that I have to throw a rock in order to break and I get no indication of how to throw an object. Also, when I need to go back to an object that I already had, I don't have a way to like figure that one out either. So, just saying, communicating a little bit confusing. That's my initial feedback here. And also the difference between E and clicking. We're all being abducted by aliens, apparently. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh no. It's supernatural. Apparently somewhere in the books, the alien is, or the, the neighbor has actually become just an alien. He's just floating around. Hmm, that's unsettling and strange. Wonder what that could be. Back in my day, I loved to play these games. Oh. Whoop, there's the neighbor. Going about his business. Just mine and <laughs> Let's go intrude, shall we? I believe in the lore of the original game, right? The the neighbor is actually a grieving father who <laughs> whose like kids died horrifically in a in a series of tragic accidents. And so we just, you know, are like, let's break into his house and menace this man! Also, our computer... I'm, I'm gonna address it because the mic is picking up how loud the computer our is! Our computer is going to die. <laughs> Hello Neighbor is going to kill our computer here, Ash. It's really quite loud. It is, it is literally, like, it's ready to take off into space. I'm making I've... jokes about the neighbor coming from space as an alien. It is like a jet revving up, ready to go. I have never heard it go that loud. Right? Who knew? Hello Neighbor is the game that's getting it to like real, really put it through its paces. Okay, so I've got a shovel. Okay, just dig up everything. I need like an i9 to play this game. <laughs> Who knew? They're like, you know what this, you know what really held back our previous games? The gra oh hey kitty. Oh, hey kitty. Hey kitty. Hi, kitty. Can I pet you? What's your name? Imps? What would this... If you rearrange this... I-M-B-I-R? Rim... Rimby? Rimby? But Brimby? Burmy? <laughs> I'm just trying to think of, like, what would the... What name for a cat would this be? Again, because you're just, it's just a word scramble. I like Bream. Bream! Bream! Oh, hey, bud. I, I would like your... Okay, so I need to get you food in order to earn your map piece, apparently. Good to know. I'll work on it, Burmy. Brimmy. What other lore do we have here? Okay. Swimming, kids! No, it's the missing... So it's kind of a word scramble, but also not. Because clearly it's M I S S I N G. They're simming. They're simming. So it's one part word scramble, but a, more it's like a letter swap, but all the letters are in there. Wow, here we go. Ready for takeoff. Ready for launch. Ready for. <laughs> I'm scared, Matt. It's gonna it's gonna blow up, Ash. I'm sorry to tell you this. It's it's ready to ready to launch. Oh my god. It is disturbing. Hold on. Wow. Oh, I don't have, I don't Here. know if it's long enough. Hold up. 
Here, uh, no, I, I have, we can, uh, you, like, here we go, friends. Hello Neighbor is the game that's gonna set this live stream on fire again. <laughs> this, is, this is even it, it quiet, it, it, like, this, it, it is, this is it revving down. The fans be a turning. Oh my god. We're gonna have to upgrade our system here, Ash. Yeah, our RTX is not where it needs to be. No, our... NVIDIA needs to... Our, our frames per second cannot handle... Cannot handle Hello Neighbor 2 beta. Cannot be, cannot be stopped. We gotta rebuild our PC. Just to play this game. Okay, let's let's sneak in the back, shall we? Again, let's accost this poor man in his house with his missing kid. Yeah, look, there it is. It's like, oh, look at us, we're a happy family. Too bad. Seg. Seg. Oh. Oh. Okay, found, found that. I'm gonna shut that so no one knows that I'm here. Boop. I like that we're sneaking into his house, but very obviously like not loudly close to yeah. us. Slam! <laughs> do, 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 do. Hey, kitty, I, I got you. I got you a fish right there. Your fish is right, right here, cat. Yeah, eat, eat it. No. Do you want more? Is this not? Is this not your food? It has your paw print on it. What? <laughs> Cat's like, no, this isn't okay. Do you want more? Because you could start eating on this one at least. All right. Apparently, that is not enough food for the cat. Or slam! <laughs> I'm being stealthy. Can't you tell? Oh, there it's launching. Yeah. If my over, if my PC overheating wasn't keen enough for you, also just in slam door. I like that he has his own merch. <laughs> You know what would be really cool? Uh, if we got like a screen recording of like us blue screening <laughs> because of this right game. Right, because of this game. Oh man, he's got like the voodoo doll set up here. I will bring them back to life. Okay, so I can see into this other room whether or not he's there. I do appreciate that I can like see to other areas where he is. Presumably. Yeah, so there he is. Thank goodness you haven't fixed the uh, drywall there, friends. My walls look like this. Ooh. That was... <laughs> Everything! Oh my gosh! <laughs> oh. <laughs> Here we are, memeing on the fact that everything we do is so loud in this game. And he heard it! We need to bring like an oil can with us. That's what we need, Ash. I think we need to bring discretion <laughs> into this game, and I think that would do wonders. Yeah, you think discretion our, is our, our secret player. weapon here? Yeah. Okay, so we lost our shovel. Did it go back? It did. Okay, so it seems like we kind of have to do this all. In one fell swoop? No, no, the fish is still there. It's okay, fish is still there. Are you gonna be in here now? Okay, I'm just gonna... Sneak! Sneak! Missing. Right, this poor man... Who is literally... Like... Undergoing like... Oh, jeez. Oh, they're all loud! Oh, that's bad news. Yeah, we're totally busted now. Literally, I just walked on all the squishy loud toys. See, this design isn't helping anyone. Let's be honest here. Who's who is using this toilet? Beesh! <laughs> what? Also, like, it's, it's a it's a murder den, kind of, but cool. Can you hop over the? Don't mind me. Just gonna hide through here. What is that thing? Is a tree? He doesn't seem to care. Great. Cool. Cool, guys. Oh, wait, there he is. There he is. Now he cares. Now he cares. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. I'm good. I'm good. Don't mind me. Just gonna... Run around to your house. 
Don't mind me, I'm just gonna break a window here. <laughs> oh, amazing. Nope, that, that, that didn't help us. All right, great. Accost this poor grieving man! He shan't get a night's rest with us around. Through the front door. Because why not? This poor guy. Ooh, hello. Ooh, that is, that is wrapped in chain. I would use audio clues to try and figure out where he is at any, any given point in time. But the fact that, like, our computer is literally ready to self-destruct... Oh, put him... Hey, bud. It's gonna... Yeet around you! <laughs> Psych! Got him! Wow, you have, a, you have a lot of blood on your walls. I am concerned about that. Very concerned about that. I'm surprised he doesn't, like, chase you out of the house. He's tired, man. It's, it's a, lot of, a lot of effort. Okay. Did I, did I get this back? Where, where'd my shovel go? Did my shovel dis I think my shovel has effectively disappeared. I have phased the shovel out of existence, ladies and gentlemen. I stood on it and it got buried after... Cr Hopefully didn't need that one for a puzzle <laughs> later in the game. I'm sure we're totally fine. Let's go into the dinosaur room. This is cool. Ooh, hello. So this needs a switch. That needs reception. Ooh, mysterious. This is like straight out of Gravity Falls. Bill, Bill <laughs> Cipher. Got Bill. Ooh, hello. What is this? Do need... Do oh! <laughs> Darn it. I like that he's just like, okay, get out. We're all good here. He also left his door open for me. I need to put foam paneling around the computer. If we're ever going to play this again, yeah. Oh, gosh. oh there he is. Bye. He's going he's gonna to walk away. Slowly walk away and leave you to your grieving. Totally fine. We're all good here. Can I hit you with a rock? Because let's be honest, that's about the level of respect and, and dignity I'm treating you with right now. Sneak! Sneak! Let's go upstairs, these blood-strewn steps. Nope. Okay. Crime niece! Crime niece! Squeak! Squeak! Oh, hello. Okay, what do we got here? A, pl a play sword. So we need to give that to the guy in the, the main room where his couch is, it looks like. Because that's the the drawing. So we need to recreate like the kid's drawing. Glowing the dark map. Oh, here we go. Three, five, seven, nine. And the, okay, so the numbers. So we got the red flags. Three, seven, Nine five. Three seven nine five. Three seven nine five. Nice. Got some scissors. So we need I'm assuming Oh shoot. Woo! Run! Go! 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 Let me go back to my floating alien house. It's fine. We're all good. You slow neighbor! Yeah, just go to the other room, it's fine. Just like mildly upset stomping. Right? He's like, I feel bad about the situation as it presents itself to me right now. Okay. Oh. And what, pray tell, did that accomplish? Oh. Jeez, oh, I just gotta cut open all of these things? One of them will have, have what I'm looking for, apparently. Oh! Oh. What? No, I can't I can't acquire this. Why can't I it's it looks like a thing that I should be able to acquire.
Okay, well, I need my bag. Is my bag too full? Do I need to lose a rock? Now let me, let me put this rock down. Okay, what, what I got? Oh, I got a key. That's good. So I need to lose another rock. <laughs> Just gonna, gonna put this right there. Oh! I know, I know. I deserve that. That's fine. That's fine. I respect that. I'm literally just like loading up your house with rocks. It's okay. Oh man, I lost my scissors too. Hopefully everything's still cut. I just need to pick them up. Where are you at, home slice? Okay, let me get my shovel back. Because <laughs> this is going to be super valuable at some point. Oh no, my shovel's just permanently gone. This is always what happens to me in these games! I lose a key item and then it never comes back! No! Oh, I also gotta get my wooden sword back too. Where, where is he at? Okay, he's there. Okay, now he's moving. Where are you moving to, bud? See? <laughs> Oh, I'm done with sitting in that chair. Time to move over to the other chair in the hallway. Just gonna pick up these objects. So Matt. Yeah. Have you ever wanted to break into a neighbor's house? Not particularly, no. Have no. you ever wanted to explore a neighbor's house legally? Oh, I oh, exploring a neighbor's house legally, absolutely yes. That's cool. <laughs> but not I mean not illegally, no. What do you take me for? A monster? Oh no! <laughs> No! I thought you were still in your main foyer! Okay. Yeah, but I, I think it's fascinating to explore other people's houses. Absolutely. Because, I don't know, I didn't get to go visit other people's houses much as a kid. Like, I didn't... I didn't have... Like, outside of, like, neighbors. Or not even neighbors, but, like, relatives. Because you would go over to, like, a relative's house for, like, a holiday or whatever. Mm -hmm. But for the most part, I never got much of a chance to explore or visit a neighbor's house. So the idea of being able to do that is super exciting. Have you ever um, driven by like a house and it seems like they have some like interesting knickknacks or things in the front yard and it's like, I want to go in there. Yeah, absolutely. What have you seen? Well, I've, I've wanted to. I don't know. I don't think I've ever done it though. But you can't think of any houses at the top of your head? That what? That I want to yeah. visit? Oh, there was like a haunted house in my, like in my neighborhood, like an old derelict house that no one knew what to do with, really. Ooh. That looks like a puzzle. Let's throw it out there. Uh, yeah, like an old derelict house that, that no one ever did anything with. And so that idea was always really compelling was to like go in there and explore. Like old haunted houses in general. That's gonna go off at some point. Uh, but yeah, no, like, there, there's a level of voyeurism to it, where you get to check it out, which is always really cool, but also... What? There, I mean, voyeurism. It's really cool. Well, it's, in it's interesting, right? Like, because you don't get to see... You, you see people in, like, public spaces, but to see, like, where they live... Where they, oh, hello. Hello. I steal the, he's got a wrench on his. I steal your wrench. Shoot. Nope. Nope. Need that. Shoot. I, I really want. Okay. Nope. Never mind. <laughs> he's he's not the brightest bulb in the box. Let's let's put it that way, huh? Mr. Peterson. Not. Oh, but he brought back my shovel. Shovel, I've missed you so. I was so concerned. Oh, I know what we're going to need the shovel for. This is going to be a map, right? And we're going to piece together this map, and somewhere in the map is going to be where we need to dig in order to find something. In order to find whatever, like, maybe it's the last key or something. But yeah, so, okay, Ash. I'm curious. What about you, then? Well, there's, like, this 
old weird castle that uh -huh. I know of um, that I really want to break into. Okay. I think it would just be cool. Because I want to see, like, I don't think folks have, like, lived there proper. But I want to see what remains of the people who have broken in there before me. Uh -huh. I think that is fun. I, I, so I also have this fascination with old abandoned things. Yeah. Like, um, like there's this really cool old abandoned, like old abandoned malls, I think Ooh. are really fascinating. Yeah, for sure. Oh, there he comes. I gotta run. Gotta run. Gotta run. What is it with like theater people and like abandoned buildings and graveyards? Well, I, th I mean, I th I don't think it's just theater people, right? I think it's it's probably a lot of different people because it's just oh, no. fascinating, right? Yeah, it is. It's just that like I don't know why, but like theater people just have such an affinity for those spaces. Unlike that... like it's it's like the weird intersection of like theater people and like paranormal. Um, sure. <laughs> experts. I'm doing the handshake meme. Um, right. In front of my they desk. Need... But... Oh, okay. Oh, I'm sorry, sir. Forgive me. Forgive me for invading your home. I, I did. I did bad. I feel. I feel much regret for my decisions, but not enough to stay out of your house for literally a second. Hmm. Where did he go? Rats. I. He avoided me again. Got it. Ooh, noise. Got it. <laughs> Got the wrench. I don't know what I would. What, what am I going to use this wrench for? Um. No, but like, there's there's this abandoned mall. Uh, in I mean, there's a bunch of abandoned malls in Ohio, but there's one in particular that I think of, and there was one store left open in the middle, but everything else was was empty, and I always thought that was so fascinating. Huh. Well, because you're seeing like nature starting to reclaim it, and it used to be this like bustling place that now all of a sudden has nothing going on inside of it. Yeah. I think that's really, really fa endlessly fascinating. I've always wanted to go into like old buildings like that and just like bring people and take a bunch of pictures. Sure. Whether it's like pictures like you're investigating a place or like go do like something artistic right there. Yeah. And I'll take your picture. Oh man, spontaneous art. Yeah. So, site specific, as they call it. Ooh, that is what they would call it. So we f I feel like we gotta find some some bolt cutters for this guy. Oh my god! What what are you doing? I forgot about the fan, and now I remember the fan. Yeah, no, the fan is definitely still going strong. Oh, we've got to match his arms now. Ah, poop. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, sorry. So we gotta match the, it's not just putting the thing, the sword in the guy's hand, but then you gotta match it. All right, hey, I know, you're annoyed with me, I get it, I don't blame you. I'm really the worst, just the worst. Don't mind me harassing your privacy. Is it's, the computer overheating? Oh, the computer is definitely overheating. This is too graphically intense for it. Can so, I touch it? Can you touch it? Yeah. You can probably roast marshmallows over it at this point. Oh, sweet. Let's, let's be honest. Ah, uh, poop. Gut. Yeet! Thank goodness. Oh, oh wait, you didn't move? You didn't even chase me! <laughs> oh, there's definitely a second floor up there that we can access, I see. So that's good to know. He's still behind me. Oh, he is. He's still behind me. Psych! Hanging out with your cat. <laughs> He's like, ah, oh, shucks. <clears throat> I know I should be sneakier. I know I need to be sneakier and more patient with this. I just, I just can't, Ash. Maybe that's my, maybe that's my fundamental failing with this franchise. I just can't be patient with. It. Ain't nobody got time to wait for the neighbor. Just want to solve puzzles. The neighbor is a minor inconvenience. The neighbor is just a minor inconvenience to me puzzling and solving. Okay. So his shield is down and his sword is up. Which I thought was what I was going for, but apparently 
not do it appropriately the first time. Anything else? So we got the key and the scissors there. I don't think I need the scissors. They're not really like bolt cutter scissors, but I'm gonna grab it just in case. Because scissors are useful. We've got this guy. We need like a switch for him. We've got a we've got a lock here that we can't activate on, so that's a bit of a bummer. And I think that's pretty much everything with this room. Unless I wind the clock. Is it gonna go off? Is it gonna summon him? Not exactly sure what that clock's gonna do for me. Is it gonna go off at any point in time? He's like, that clock is ticking loudly. There we go. Oh, switch. Grab switch. Okay, so now... I'm gonna use the ticking clock here. Maybe that'll summon him to this room. Without any concern! Or what is actually causing all these clocks to tick? You going checking that out? Checking out the ticking clock there? Nope. Going. <laughs> nope. Just gonna stand at the top of the stairs. This is my domain, and I shall survey it. Thank you. He's kind of strutting. He is. He's walking that runway. You walk that runway. There you go. Looking good. I don't know what that just did. It activated something new. So we flipped a switch, and that told us what exactly. Are you master of your domain? Okay, he's still over there. Is he still over there? He is, okay. You hanging out in the kitchen? Nope. <laughs> Darn it! Come on. Shucks. Great. I love this pattern we're engaging with right now. Oh, key. Got a key! Key numero dos! Bit by bit, we're gonna see what's in his basement. Although we've already seen what's in his basement. I think that's that's the other kind of wacky thing about this, is after the first game, which was all about this like mystery of what's inside the neighbor's basement, at this point, at this point we already know what's in his basement. It's like this weird kidnapping zone. Or it was. I guess I guess he re he renovated. He's on like house flippers. Two. Can these also function as bolt cutters? Or, yeah, bolt cutters. Nope. And away! Can I cut open the large stuffed animal in his room? With... Oh, hey. No! Well, I couldn't anyway, so it didn't matter. So that's two! We're, we're two done. Slowly making progress. We know that we can get a wrench from his back pocket. We know that the cat apparently needs just more food. And that is kind of all she wrote so far. Right? So cat needs food. What about up here? Hello. Can I? Okay, so there's clearly... So we need to be able to get his family. Oh, I get it. So we need his family. Like, we need to find the three dolls. Him and his two kids and put them up on the house. That's what's going on there. So here's his kid. There's him. So we need the third one. And we just need to figure out how to, how to find them all. Okay, so where's his... So here's his... And he is in... He's at the end, over top of the chimney. 
he's there. Uh. Nope. Bye. Is there some kind of like ritual happening with the dolls? Oh, certainly. There's like candles and stuff. Well, I, again, having not read, maybe people, have. has anyone actually read the books? Let me know down in the comments if you have read the books and what the lore is. Because in the original game, or not in the original game, in the, you were just in the kitchen, man. Um, in the games, right, there was a lot of, like, crow imagery. There was also a lot of, like, some sort of ritualistic stuff going on. Oh, oh, so we need the two map pieces and they go there. Okay, so now we know that the map pieces go there, so that's good to know. Oh, that's the wrench. Okay, so that's why we need the wrench. But yeah, in the original lore... Huh. There's a secret room back here, isn't there? Thank you. <laughs> Thank you for phasing through my body, it's fine. This is all totally normal normal stuff. Okay, so we're up here in our little... Oh. Hi. Okay, so this is... The second doll. Second doll goes here. Boop! We need doll number three. Nope, here he comes. I will say it's hard to hear audio cues when I literally have like turbo jet engines blowing in my ears. A little bit distracting. Right, what is the clue here? Is there a clue? It's just a picture of an orange slice. Because the other the other ones have been telegraphed, right? Like, we were able to figure out the, the hopscotch puzzle. We were able to figure out what we're supposed to do with those little doll creatures. Like, they're not... The puzzles actually are making sense, which, you know, saying a lot for this game. In the past, they've been pretty obscure, so I'm glad that we can actually, like, figure out what we're supposed to do. This one, though, for whatever reason... Isn't making a whole lot of sense. Also, now that we have a map, or now that we know what we're supposed to do with those map pieces, we should probably, we should probably put that one back where I found it. Load it up onto the screen here. Where's he at? Oh, I heard him. Sorry, bud. It must be in the bath. The bathroom. We don't know what we're doing with, and it feels like there must be something in the bathroom that we have to get. Like... You were just there a second ago, bud. Just saying. Your AI t definitely teleported you around. I'm assuming... I'm assuming the last... character? Like, the last little... doll creature must be in here, maybe? No? What am I... Is, is there something in this room? Hmm... Is there a painting in here? Maybe a painting. Very loud. Everything in this house is very loud and I don't know what his hearing is. I know his running speed is slow, so I appreciate that. Oh yeah, there's a painting. There's a painting on the ceiling. You're right. So there's five paintings we have to hit in pretty quick order. So we should start with this one. Presumably. How we do it? Okay. Because this one will trigger him. <laughs> oh, yeah, I guess it will. Oh, we can just, yeah, this, actually, it, it doesn't have to. Interesting. Okay, so we can just climb up here. Hmm. <laughs> what? Just, just marinating the chicken. Don't worry. Don't, nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Just a chicken in the shower. Nothing to see here. We're all good. Nothing. 
Don't turn your- How dare you look at this poor chicken in the middle of their bathing routine? How dare you? We should all be ashamed of ourselves. So. So that didn't trigger him. So on one hand, it's like, oh, there are these audio cues that you can use to trigger him. On the other hand, none of them seem to work. Oh, what if I wind this alarm clock? Eh, the alarm never goes off. What if I break a window? Eh, maybe not. Oh, get, get out of, get out of here. Get out of here, game. Shoot. Five? Is that all of them? Did we unlock a thing? On, up, above the doorway you just walked into. Oh, what? It, really? it was tilted above the doorway that you just walked into. Wait, the last one was tilted? Yeah. Oh, there's six then? Yeah. How many, how many damn paintings are there? Above the arch, above that arch. Oh, the, that oh we didn't do it fast enough? Or is it an order thing? One. Two. Three. No! Let me hang out with your cat! Okay, three. Four. I'm just trying to arrange your stuff, man! Maybe this will give us a clue if we just put the map together. Oh. There we go. I didn't have time to check it out, but it's there, it exists. We're all good. Hmm. What? Oh, I hear you. I hear the tense music. And all, come on, cat. Here, I'm just gonna look at your map piece since you're not cooperating with me at all. Can you just like, take it? Right. No. Right. I, you would think that the cat is very vicious. So what am I looking at here? <laughs> Are you kidding? Oh, you had to put up the first piece of the map before we take the. No, I think you could have just taken it and he'd go with the fish instead. <laughs> it had that white hand, I was like... Hello, neighbor! <laughs> Sorry, Matt. I would go for it! Wow. Well. Well, then. <laughs> well then. So happy about all of this. What is this? Behind the barn, we gotta dig. Okay, that says behind the barn, we gotta dig. Oh, I've been found out. No, no, leave me alone, please. Thank you, bye. I just fed your cat. Maybe you should feed your cat more often. There we go. There. Alright, so dig behind the barn. So off to our alien abduction barn. To the back. And what do we got? Oh, look. We, do we even, like, crash through the guy's barn? <laughs> We're just the worst. Across the board. Okay, so we got our shovel. Got our digging. Hey! Okay, it's our little girl. Nice! So that should complete another puzzle. That's exciting. Which leaves us with one. Which is the pictures. <laughs> we'll figure it out! And then there was one. I like that the cat puzzle we had solved the entire time. <laughs> I but think it's fun. It makes us who we are. It is. The ineptitude? Is this correct? Or no, they put them in the wrong order. They must have. Yes. Good job, Matt. You can read them. You can clearly solve these puzzles. Nice. And the key. Great. Anyone in there? No. Don't mind me. One more! One. 
Hey. Die. <laughs> Lodge. <laughs> oh! Oh! He came out! Oh no! He's, he's broached the fourth wall! <laughs> Slam. Okay. So, nothing up there. Unless we cut the emergency tape or something. Do we have any clues as to what order of paintings we should be doing? Any visual clues that might indicate what this is supposed to be? Or is it literally just tap each of them one at a time? I feel like that can't be the case, because we, like you said, we've uh. done this multiple times. And I don't, and I think we've done it fast enough. I think that's the other component here, right? You gotta do it fast enough. Uh. Yeah, I know, I'm right here. I know, uh. I know. One. Two. Three. Leap. Three. Four. Two. No! I just fell into his arms! Embrace me, neighbor! Embrace me! <laughs> so I think with the plan here okay. is let's do... Okay, let's do this. Let's do... And hopefully he just cooperates with us as we YOLO this. One. Two. Three. Shoot. Three. Three, three, three. I need to get... Okay, move. Oh, he hello. I did not anticipate you doing that. Bye. <laughs> three. Four. Five. Oh! Oh! Yeah! See? Okay, 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 okay. I, I don't know why. I don't know if there was a specific order we were supposed to do that in. We got another bonus crowbar because one crowbar has been so useful to us already that we needed a second one. That's fine. But this is our last key. Last key! Let's go into the basement. Let's go! Basement! I didn't even get to read the message! <laughs> Where's Beaver Do? I need something to scream hold on, into! Hold on, hold on, hold on, sorry. Must scream! Ash must scream! He must scream! <laughs> oh! <laughs> What do we tell Ollie? Deep calming breaths. Deep calming breaths. Deep calming breaths. Sometimes it's good to draw the way you feel. I don't want to. I don't want to draw on this. This is so cute. Look at this. It's so cute. Don't worry about it. It's fine. I'm good. I'm good. I'm pro. I'm processed. You know what? So I'm good. I'm good. I'll just repress it like I repress everything. It's fine. That's not very healthy. Yeah. If you don't stop to think about how you're doing, you'll never truly know how bad you actually are. <laughs> Hello, neighbor. I trusted you. I gave you a chance. Okay. Okay. So, that last puzzle and that ending. We didn't even get to see the ending message! I'm salty about that. Okay. Real talk, hello neighbor. Real talk. Your puzzle design, much better. In fact, quite fun.
like they're simple but not like so simple like it's fun the reset mechanic of the neighbor kind of taking away some of the key items that you need for the puzzles fine cool that's cool uh you need you need some sort of penalty i still think the neighbor is the least exciting part of hello neighbor i think he's just a tedious waste of time as you try to like get the stuff that because uh, who cares i don't know i'm stalling i i get it i'm not much of a stealth guy especially with this game I like Metal Gear Solid and stuff. Like, stealth in this game, those seem silly to me. I like the puzzle-solving elements. And the puzzles make more sense than they have in a long time in this series. So I appreciate that. I, I think there's a lot of smart decisions that... Like, uh, as my reaction, my I, I want to make it very clear, right? I think this game has always been a bit of a like pu a stealth puzzle game. Which is a weird combination. Um, of It's a weird hybrid of genres. I like... I like the puzzles, and I like the puzzles more than I ever have. I think the puzzles hit a really sweet spot. I like, I like exploring a house and finding the different like items that I have to then piece together, and you fit the key in the lock, and then that opens up another lock, and you have to observe the world around you to solve the puzzle. Right? I think the hopscotch on the ceiling to solve the safe, great. The the picture on the refrigerator to figure out what you're doing to the dolls, that's awesome. Like you have to figure it out. I like that. I still find the neighbor obnoxious. But he's not so, like, he's easy enough to escape from that it's not, like, setting you back a long way. It feels a bit like Super Meat Boy, where if you die, you know, you're immediately sent back to start, and you can just kind of, like, YOLO in again. Like, I, I did that a lot of times. We probably cut a lot of them just because I just get impatient with this game, and I just want to solve the puzzles. Like, I wish there was a mode where you could just turn off the neighbor and be like, just puzzle solve, because I like it. I like, I want to explore... The house. I like the environment. I like the world. I like the design. I like the puzzles. That's what I want to explore. And I know that the neighbor kind of slows you down because otherwise the puzzles you'd be done. Like this would be a 10 minute playthrough, you know? So like the neighbor is there to slow you down. So like, that's fine. I still think that there are frustrating moments though. Like, like, you know, if, if the goal of the game is for me to take my time and figure out, like, is there an order to these paintings? How many of these paintings are there? This and that. That's where I think things start to get into butt heads with the neighbor, right? Because the neighbor has his pattern, and you can affect it, sure. And I, 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 I don't know. Like, I, I'm so conflicted about it. That last puzzle was infuriating, though. Because, like, we did it multiple times and it kept resetting so i wasn't sure like if i've done the puzzle correctly don't make it bound to the time mechanic like if all of a sudden maybe that's what it is maybe that's what's frustrating about that last puzzle the last puzzle is seems to be time-based where you have to hit all the paintings in a certain amount of time but the game is built on this idea of like avoid the neighbor be stealthy so if on one hand, I'm trying to stealth my way around and grab things and avoid the neighbor and this and that. But on the other hand, there's a puzzle that literally requires me to run through the house and, and touch all the touch all the rooms and touch all the paintings and jump and leap and whatever. It is diametrically opposed to what the core theme of the game is, which is sneaking and solving puzzles. I think that might be why that last one's rushing. So, like, if it's, hey, turn all the paintings and they lock into place or turn all the paintings within a certain amount of time and it locks into place, but then to like run back to that door. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the solution is. I'm not a game designer for that reason. But I do know that that last puzzle was frustrating and we spent an inordinate amount of time trying to do it and we were doing it the right way. I think I don't think there was an order. And if there was, that also needs to be made clear. So, Hello Neighbor 2. It's got promise. Right? I say as I scream into, into Gigachu here. It's got promise. Like, I, there's, there's something there. And there's always been something there with Hello Neighbor. And I think that's, that's the reason I keep giving it chances. And that's the reason I keep coming back to this franchise anytime I see them upload a new alpha demo, whatever. It's because there's promise there. There's a cool world. There's cool characters. There's cool design and cool puzzle mechanics. But the consistency is always the problem, and and the, the final execution is always the one where you're like, ah, I don't know, like something just didn't quite seem right there. So I'm I'm cautiously optimistic, but also I think I think like Hello Neighbor Two has had like three different demos, like a lot of alphas and beta. Like I feel like I've been hearing about this game for years at this point. I, I feel like there was a 
a trailer for it at E3 from like three years ago. I don't even... So I don't know what to make. Like, I, I think there's some brand confusion. I think they've watered down the brand of what Hello Neighbor is, which doesn't help. But yeah, so, and I think they've burned through a lot of goodwill in the gaming community. So like, I, I want the best for you guys. I, I want this franchise to succeed because I think it's fun. And I think that there's something there. It's just like a little, it's just the polish. It's that final, like, you get it, you've gotten it to like 70% of the way there. And it's that last 30 that I, I feel like these games always struggle to hit. So, I don't know. There you have it, friends. Hello Neighbor 2. Um, let me know. Is this a franchise that you want to, if you're like, hey, keep that one going. Not me, just in general. Like, hey, is that a franchise that you're like, yeah, I'm still going to check out games of that. Or is this like, yeah, no, it, it burned me once or it burned me twice. I'm good. Because, yeah, I, I'm curious. I've, I've checked in periodically. I've checked in with Secret Neighbor. I checked in with some of the other things that they've done. It's interesting, right? So, Always, always a bit on the fence about how to feel about this franchise. Uh, and always there's that one element that just makes me scream into the nearest pillow. I'm sorry, Pikachu, thanks for being there. Thanks, Ash, for getting that one for me. Yep. Just had to release. Yep. Had to release. So thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> we'll see you in the next video. As always, remember, it wasn't a live stream, but it was a video. A video for you. See ya!